All right, what's going on guys? So this is actually the intro for tomorrow's video, but I just did something and I wanted to make this right now while it was still fresh in my head. I record everything for these videos on my phone and sometimes my phone fills up with storage so I have to delete stuff. And tonight I had to delete stuff and I accidentally deleted two things from tomorrow's video. So if you guys are watching this, in this video I originally had a set of 75s with the dumbbells on shoulder press at the end. And then more importantly, I had a little cardio talk in the car after my cardio. I ran four miles today. Uh, it was super hot out. I didn't really realize that, but it felt so much harder today than it usually did. I finally got back to the car. I looked at my phone. It was like 90 degrees out. And I was just so proud of myself for finishing the run because about halfway, a little more than halfway through, I just didn't want to go anymore. And I was wondering what was wrong. It didn't even feel hot out, but it felt like it was so hard. And uh, I pushed through and got it done. So I just wanted this to be the intro for the video today. And uh, we'll get right into it. I'll see you at the workout. All right, what's going on, guys? So solid workout here today. I will say to start it off, I was a little bit frustrated with this bench press because the last two days I was so close to this 315. Uh, and like I said, I've hit 315 before. I just haven't hit it in a long time. Uh, you were gonna, I don't want to tell that story again because I tell it almost every single chest day video. But uh, I was feeling really good going into today about it. And the weight just felt a little heavier on bench press today. I don't know why. The rest of the workout was great. Uh, I had a great couple other movements. But even right here, this 275 felt way heavier than it usually does. So typically because of that, I went in and I kept adding the weight on some of the other exercises to get a heavy set at the top and then dropped it back down for the rest of the exercises. And uh, again, I just like to do that, adjust... Because so many people come in here and say, oh yeah, if you only do heavy weight, you know, if you compromise form, if you only do this, that, uh, only do a couple reps, you're not really growing the most muscle you can. Um, I do it more just so I'm used to being able to hold that heavy weight. And I only do it for like one set, maybe two sets if I end up cranking out like somewhat decent set of five or something. Uh, but other than that, I usually just do it just to start out because it's not always about the reps you're doing. Sometimes for me, again, I'm only talking about me and I want to reiterate this point because I say it a lot when it comes to working out, when it comes to fitness, when it comes to pretty much anything in your life, certain things are going to work for you that don't work for other people. Yes, I guess there are some universal things and there are some rules that we can all uh, abide by together uh, and that typically go for everyone. But when it comes to who you are and being the best version of yourself, you're going to be different than me. I'm going to be different than you. We can help each other out. We can recommend things. We can try different things. But at the end of the day, what works for you isn't going to work for me. What works for me isn't going to work for you. Um, we're all just trying to be the best we can be. And if everyone did the exact same thing, we'd all just be the same, right? So if that's not the point. You're going to be better at some things. I'm going to be better at some things. Uh, one of the best things about us as people is that we're different. So again, just for me, but I like those top sets, those one or two just heavy reps where I extra overload the weight because to me, it just makes me feel like I get used to holding that sort of heavy weight and it's really helping me to just control a rep like that, a super heavy rep, an overweight rep, whatever, whatever word you want to say. And then I drop it down to my lighter sets, my more controlled sets, I guess to some people, my muscle building sets. And I just like to do it that way. It works for me. It's always worked. Um, it's helped me break through some plateaus and whatnot. So, so super happy with that. And then right here, I just always want to say, I, I didn't always do this little tricep exercise, the over the head coming into the close grip. But every single time I video it, I really like the way it looks. If I get it off from that side angle, I feel like my triceps just look super defined and big. So I do, I, I do like to record from that angle. Uh, bringing in some flies right here. Uh, I have told you guys on my back and uh, chest days, I've really been liking flies. I've really been trying to do more fly work. I feel like it's something that goes super overlooked. And for the majority of my working out career, I've really focused on push movements for chest days and pull movements for back days. I, I kind of want to just try and maybe go a little over the top with flies and see if that makes a big difference. Uh, see if that uh, launches me forward, I guess is the word I'm looking for in uh, some new territory. Because we get set in our ways. I've been doing the same thing in the gym for a long time. Obviously, I switch it up a little bit here and there like most people, but I feel like that that would be a big change and uh, potentially a very beneficial one. So that's something I'm excited for going forward. So yeah, pretty good workout overall today. I was happy with it. All right, what's going on guys? Dude, pretty solid chest day today. Um, the 315 was a bummer. I was so close to that for like two weeks in a row. Uh, I thought I was definitely gonna be able to hit that this week. It wasn't the case. Uh, that's fine. We just keep moving forward. I mean, it's chest day. You starting off the week right on a Monday chest day. Uh, I just feel thankful to be able to get up every day and lift weights and get better and uh, be able to become the best that I can possibly be. So um, that was a fun day today. I really am enjoying doing flies right now. I kind of want to move them up in the workout. I've always done them at the end forever. And I think it is kind of they're an underrated exercise and to do them at the beginning and really get that movement um, 
going strong or not in the beginning but in the middle of the workout as opposed to just a burnout at the end is something that i think i want to try here and i'll track the progress and find out where it goes but besides that 315 was a little bit of a bummer the rest of the day was pretty solid i had a good time uh, it's always fun to go in there and crush chest i just feel lucky so thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one this side or the next